Hi everyone, in this live session we are going to solve an exponential equation. This is an algebraic exponential equation which is x to the power of x equals to x. Now here we have three x's. One x, this x is the exponent and this is the base. <clears throat> so here we can write it as this has an exponent of 1. Let's divide uh, both left hand side and right hand side by x. So we have x to the power of x divided by x equals to x divided by x equals to 1. And here as now, how should we explain this? X cannot be equal to 0. Can X, the question is, can X be equal to 0? No, it cannot because 0 to the power of 0 is not right. X to the, now this X, so basically X is not equal to 0. So, I'm going to write that here because X to the power of 0 to the power of 0 has no meaning. X is not equal to 0. <clears throat> And this x here has an exponent of 1. So, we can write it like this. Now, what should we do? The attention to be paid here is on the right-hand side. Right-hand side only has a number 1. So, what should we do? Here, as you know, a law of, ident a law of exponent. What does the law of exponent say? a to the power of b divided by... <clears throat> a to the power of c is equal to when you have same basis and there's division between them so what do we do with the exponents we subtract the exponents so i'm going to write that here a and you subtract the exponents that is b minus c so this we are going to apply it here here we have x to the power of x divided by x to the power of one <clears throat> the bases are same and there's division between them. So what do we do with the exponents? We subtract it. So x to the power of x minus 1 equals to 1. So we have 1 here. Now the thing is, it, it is in the form of, you can write it as a to the power of b equals to 1. Can a and b be 0? If a is 0, b is 0. There's no meaning. 0 to the power of 0. No, there's no meaning. So it has three conditions. So we can write the three conditions here. The first condition is when x, now here we are referring a as x and b as x minus 1. So here, let's see. If a, suppose if a equals 1, so b belongs to real numbers <clears throat> if a equals 1 b belongs to the real numbers this is one condition the second condition is if a equals negative 1 suppose if a is negative 1 so x minus 1 this one this b will be equal to an even number so if it is an even number 2 times n n belongs to integers <clears throat> all right now the third condition is if b equals to 0 if this equals to 0 and a should not be equal to 0 then only the equation is equal to 1. If a equals to 1 and this should be a real number, this is equal to 1. If a is negative 1 and it should have an even power, then it will be equal to 1. If b is equal to 0 but a should not be equal to 0, then only it is equal to 1. So these are the three conditions when the equation is equal to 1. Now, let's substitute and check. 
Now here, x, this is our equation, x to the power of x minus 1 is equal to 1. Now let's substitute on that. So the first condition what we have here is, <clears throat> let me write down the first condition. So if x is equal to 1, a is equal to 1, so your a is x, x is equal to 1, so x minus 1, the power exponent, x minus 1 is 1 minus 1, which is equal to 0, yes. So x is equal to 1 is a solution. Now the second category, the second option, that is a is negative 1. So let's see x here. x is equal to negative 1. So what will be x minus 1? <clears throat> negative 1, negative 1 will give you negative 2. And negative 2 can be written as 2 times negative 1. Now this is in the form of 2a. And n is an integer. So minus 1 belongs to an integer z. Therefore, you can say that x equals to negative 1. Now the third one. <clears throat> b is equal to 0. The exponent is equal to 0. So what is our exponent here? x minus 1. So x minus 1 equals to 0. So x is equal to, bring it the other side, it is positive 1. x is equal to 1. So we have a solution that x is equal to 1. Now as you can see, the first one is x equals to 1. The third one is also x equals to 1. They are same values. So you have one solution is x is equal to 1. And the other solution is x is equal to negative 1. So therefore, we can say that x is equal to plus or minus 1. So this is how we found the solutions. There are two solutions, two roots, x equals to 1 and x equals to negative 1. So there are two roots for this equation thank you so much for joining if at all you have any suggestions you can write it in the comment box thank you bye bye take care